it triggered a series of wars concluded by the Treaty of Tianjin, which legalized the opium trade in China. 75 million Chinese became addicted to the narcotic. A British civil servant claimed, China is now asleep for a century. The Western world may enter such a decline if we do not react against the major threat of what may be called someday the cocaine war. Perhaps such a war is underway already. Deep in the Colombian Amazon, in March 1984, an army video camera records the largest drug raid in history, nearly 14 tons of pure cocaine, worth well over a billion dollars, with planes and a cache of weapons believed imported for leftist guerrilla fighters. Some believe that cocaine now also supports insurgent armies and is sent northward to the United States by some jungle militants to poison the population of a perceived enemy. The Cousteau team asks, are you worried about the effects of cocaine on other countries, such as the United States? No, the trafficker says, because a lot of us consider this is a way of responding to the attack of imperialism in South America. It's a cultural response. If a lot of people are going to die here because of imperialist policies from the United States, a lot of people there are going to die from cocaine. This is war. It is a sad irony that we too often misuse a gift of nature, turn energy to explosive, turn medicine to menace. The alkaloid extracted from coca leaves is the only naturally occurring local anesthetic on Earth. Yet from this potential blessing, we manufacture a misbegotten magic. The tyrannies unleashed by a tiny leaf fill prisons with the poor, kill police, corrupt governments, fuel wars, ravage brains and hearts. Those who turn to cocaine often seek the euphoric sense of success and power that eludes them in reality and find themselves instead adrift in oblivion. Yet man has survived the ages, conquered other agonies, using a different source of magic ultimately greater than any other. It is the power to understand and to overcome it is the hope of the hopeless. It is the human mind.